Alright, I'm going to do a quick video on this flashlight housing I made for the Chris Vector Gen 2 series. Um, for those familiar with the Chris Vector, you know that the Gen 1 has a housing that's made specifically to fit a flashlight. They did away with that for the Gen 2, and I've been wanting one uh, ever since they got rid of it. Honestly, I don't know why. I really like the looks of it. So... I decided to make one of my own. As you can see, the housing is designed to fit the Night Evolution uh, Vector light. You can find this light on AliExpress. It's a little bit more difficult to find at Airsoft stores now since they don't really carry it because the Gen 1 has been out of production for a few years now. Um, but you can still get these at AliExpress for a pretty decent price. Not very expensive at all. Um, and that's what this flashlight, uh, that's what this mount is designed to fit. Um, so it fits flush with the receiver, designed to look as OEM as possible. Um, the wiring is designed to come out the front, and then you can feed it down the side of the rifle underneath the pick rail. And you can have it mounted on there. Excuse the tape there. I just put it there just to see how it would feel. And I think I like the positioning of the pressure switch. It's not too bad. Um, but that's besides the point. The housing will be available um, on my website. I will post the link down below for people who will want it. Um, it's printed out of PA12, which is a high impact, high temperature resistant material. You don't have to worry about temperature for airsoft, obviously. Um, just the high impact rating. Um, this particular one is the prototype. Uh, I have made some revisions to the um, final version so that it fits without modifications. Um, in order to put this on, just real quick, you have to slide this top rail to the rear. After you slide it to the rear, you will see a Phillips head screw, which is um, what's holding the original housing in place. You just take that out, and then this will slide all the way out. Um, so you will need to access that screw in order to get this to in, uh, get this installed. You don't necessarily need um, to put a set screw for the flashlight because this already fits really, really snug. I designed it so that it fits super tight. Um, another thing you have to do is you have to trim some of the rubber material off of your off of the pressure switch of this uh, flashlight. Um, well, I wanted this to be as short as possible, which is why I opted for that. Um, I will probably offer another version where it sits a little bit farther forward. That way, you don't have to do any trimming. But for me, I prefer this look, and I think it's well worth the. The small little inconvenience to get this look. Um, currently, I don't have a short inner barrel in here. Um, let me take this off just to show you what it looks like, possibly without the suppressor. So, take this off. So, excuse the inner barrel, but uh, this is what it would look like if you had a just a short barrel at a Compensator, flash hider if you want, thread protector, and it would be right about there. So you can see what the gun looks like with the flashlight. So this will fit the upcoming um, gas blowback version as well. Um, so if you guys want to have this old, uh, old school look of the Chris Vector, which is pretty funny, the Chris Vector is very futuristic actually still to this day um, but this is an old school look they don't offer this anymore so if you guys are interested in this let me know or if you have any recommendations or any suggestions feel free to post down in the comments and I will answer to my best of my ability when I have time um, but yeah all the information will be in the description and um, yeah enjoy